Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're trying to fix this iRobot Roomba cleaner here. Basically it won't take a charge. Please charge Roomba. Even though it's been on the charger for a prolonged period of time. And after a while it'll say charging error number eight. Which usually means there's one of two problems that you can fix, usually. So the first thing you can try is cleaning these charging contacts both on the charger and on the Roomba. So I'm going to clean them with this damp magic eraser. And just get them nice and shiny. There are a lot of scratches on mine. Not sure if you can, you can probably see them there pretty good. It's already looking shinier. cleaned off there. We'll do this one. I'm guessing that this probably won't work. And I'll have to take out the net. The other fix is you take these screws out, take this part off. You take these screws out here on the bottom as well. And then you reinstall the battery and you see if that works. And then I'll clean the contacts. on this charger as well, even though they look pretty good. Let me grab just a towel here, a rag. I'll be right back. All right, so we got a rag. I'll just dry this off. Same thing with my charger. And we'll put it back on, see what we get. Turn the charge in. Please charge Roomba. So I'm guessing this isn't going to work because I also tried charging it through this port here and it wouldn't take a charge. So I'll give this a little bit longer and if it doesn't work, I'll get back with you guys. And I'll show you me opening it up. All right guys, so it's still not really taking a charge. It is giving me that error number eight. So I'm gonna take it off the charger and we can go ahead and open this up. Let's see if we can just reinstall the battery, see if that works. Got a handy handy screwdriver here. I'm guessing you just gotta take out these four screws. Let's see if I can get this one out. I feel like they kind of stay in there. And we'll take out two more. A good start there. I guess we're gonna have to take off this spin brush here. This is a good time to get some of the hair that might be stuck in it out anyway. Let's see if we can get it out. There it goes. There's a big glob of hair in there. It's a good time to do a little bit of maintenance. Get that hair out. It's stuck in there. Put that off to the side. Let's see if this comes off. All right, it comes off pretty easy. And there is the battery. Man. Okay. So the battery's got a little bit of either corrosion or just some dust buildup. And it's funny, it just sits in there like that. So I'll take a little bit of vinegar and I'll clean that off, as well as that contact down there. So let me get that and I'll get back with you guys. Okay, so I got my vinegar over here, got a Q-tip. 
See if I can reach. I'll just dip it in there. Get a little bit of vinegar. And we'll clean up this contact right here. Don't need to put a ton on there. Let's see if I can scratch off a little bit of that corrosion myself. Put a little bit on this contact down here as well. See if I can clean that up. Flip it over, dip it in the vinegar again. Just get these contacts cleaned up. This seems to be coming off. So let me grab my handy dandy rag. Clean off the excess moisture. I think that's gonna be the best I can do. There's the battery for reference. Hopefully this battery is still good. It doesn't really sit in there. You would think it would click in or something, but it just sits in there like that. It's probably held in by mostly by pressure. Let me see. I'll fold this back up just so these little have these little things in the way. Yeah, we'll tighten these screws back up and put the blade back on. And I'll let you know if it works. All right, guys, moment of truth. Put it back together, let it charge for about an hour. Let's see what it does. There you go, looks like it worked. So just taking out that battery. Put, Move Roomba to a new location. Then press clean to restart. Putting that battery back in seemed to fix it. If you guys got any questions, put them in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, make sure to subscribe. Like the video. I'll catch y'all next time.